Welcome back, everyone. <clears throat> so I have to eat a little bit of um, crow here. I believe that's the expression. You eat crow, you admit that you're wrong. So let me uh, just give you an observation of what's going on right now. Heading into interest rates going up, what, three to four months ago? Um, I, and frankly, almost everyone in the industry is going, look, all it's going to do is it's going to stall out growth and, or not even stall it out, but growth's going to go to the normal percentage versus these crazy like 15% spikes that we see year over year. But it's not going to lead to a decrease in value. So don't hold your breath for that. And while we're still not at a point to look at the real estate market and go, hey, that, like, like values are down. We're not there yet, but we are beginning to teeter. We have to at least look at the signs, signs and the data right now and go, it might be a little dicier than me and other people in my position, even the you know way smarter people than me predicted. So look, we are seeing price drops right now. It's the reality. I, I started doing a little bit of data. We had a, it's always a good time. We had someone that reached out to us from another state, said they're moving to Utah and that we got referred to them by a friend. And uh, so we did a nice long call with them, started pulling comparable, you know, auto searches and all this kind of stuff for them. They texted me today and said, hey, uh, we talked to another friend and they connected with an agent we're gonna work with. Well, fuck you. So, um, so but I was looking at, at houses for them and they were like one to one and a half million. And the area I was looking in, I was like, man, a lot of these prices have been, or houses have been sitting on the market for 30, 60 days and have seen price drops or they have lowered their price. It's not to say that the value is necessarily lower, right? That comes down to appraisals, but um, it's to say that the values or, or the listing prices had taken a price reduction, sometimes pretty substantial. I mean, given that they're in the million dollar you know, price bracket. But it got me thinking like, huh, I wonder if how the, this is, if it's translating down to the normal price bracket, which in Salt Lake right now would be maybe four to 500 grand. So I started, I just looked, hey, four to 500 grand within Salt Lake County, what's going on? And just started observing uh, the data because I know that on the receiving end, as someone who typically works with buyers, um, man, not a lot of leads lately. Not a lot of people emailing saying I need to buy a house now. Like it's, it, it, it's the reality and that's not just me that's kind of everyone right now and so i looked at 400 500 grand and i'll be damned if i'm not seeing quite a bit in the way of price reductions in that listing category and that was surprising to me because that is the normal category right now it's so like you know four four to five hundred you know maybe pushing six somewhere in that category though and i was like holy shit man some of these things have I just started picking, you know, if it was 100 listings, I just went through and picked 10 at random and just said, okay. And it was damn near 50% of them had been kind of sitting around for a few weeks and had done price reductions, right? So it's not 100%. The only thing that could maybe account for some of this is people listed those houses when things hadn't really started to shift yet. So they were still listing them at the inflated prices and now things are chilling out. But as a general rule of thumb, I'd say about half the listings I'm seeing right now show price reductions on the MLS. That's substantial. I did not see that coming. I think most of us did not see that coming. It's just of note, like, you know, so pay attention. Right now I was talking to a dude in the gym this morning and, and you know, who works in the real estate world and, you know, he's kind of going, it's, it's interesting right now. And that's everyone's, um, you know, non-descriptive way of saying, kind of shitty right now and I don't know what's going on. I'm a little freaked out. So um, I'm not saying you shouldn't buy a house right now. Hell, you might really want to buy a house right now because things seem to be in a little bit of panic mode where you might be able to get a little bit in the way of better deals. So <clears throat> on, a, on the note of bourbon, so this is a High West offering. This is their um, sort of pre-bottled old fashions, what are they, barrel finished uh, cocktail, right? So it's, a, it's an old fashioned that they make. And damn, it's good. The only thing that I realized after I opened it, so they say, because obviously this is not just alcohol, it's mixed with, you know, other, you know, botanicals and, you know, shit like that. Three year shelf life, but once it's open, you've got to refrigerate it and it's got a 30 day shelf life, which sounds suspect to me. Neither of those sound like they would be accurate. And it's a bummer because then it messes up your shelf because you got to keep this thing in the fridge when it looks really good on a shelf. But it is good. And if you happen to have these in your area, I would definitely recommend it. Um, they're about 50 bucks, which is pretty 
pricey for a prepackaged cocktail, but definitely good. Um, they're allocated here in Utah, so I don't know. You might be able to find where you live, but if you do, really tasty. It's just a really, really good old fashioned. So if you guys need real estate help and actually intend to follow through with your end of the deal, then um, hit us up. If not, stay out of our inbox. It's called loyalty, everyone. It's called having a little pair of nuts and being able to stick to your word. So if you got that, we'd love to work with you. Too spicy? Is that too spicy for this Paradox channel? I don't mean it to be. I just mean it to be honest and heartfelt with you guys. So anyway, if you need real estate help, let us know. 1911syndicate.com. We'll take good care of you. And um, yeah, take care. We'll see you soon.